Um, so the first one here definitely would would recommend rewriting it until you're comfortable with this as um, as the following, um, where it's sine of seven x to the fifth power. So th this is a chain rule problem. And, and the five is where you start. You start with power rule. So first thing is to apply the power rule here. Now, are you okay if we just, just do it like this or do you like to make it like u to the fifth? What's kind of your preference here for this? You mean like how how we do the chain rule? Well, I'm, I'm asking, sorry, I'll try to be clear. Like, like this is five sine seven x to the fourth power. Right, yeah. But but some some people prefer kind of over here off to the side to say, okay, y equals u to the fifth, u equals sine of seven x. Oh, no, I mean, no. This I is don't. okay? Okay, yeah. so so now so now we, we, we keep going here because you, you have to apply the power rule and the chain rule yeah. to this. So you have to take the derivative of the inside function. This sine is the next innermost function. So the derivative of sine is cosine. Okay. Keep and you keep the inside function as long as it's still an inside function. Then you have to take okay. the derivative of seven x, which is seven. Seven. Okay. That's it. You're done. That's that's the. Oh, that's, that's the final. Okay. Yeah. So let me get, let me give you one here to so try. D, um, when it says dy over dx, that's just the derivative. But what if it says dx like dx over dy? It wouldn't, it would not say that. And, and it, it, dy over dx equals y prime equals f prime of x. These are all the same notation. Okay. Even even something like d dx is kind of the same also. Oh, d d. Okay, that, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's try one here. Um, now, now you try, um, make it really similar. Y <laughs> equals uh, cosine to the fourth of a uh, 2x squared, we'll make 2x squared. Okay, so. Okay. Take, take 60 seconds and see how you do on that. So is the four what you bring in front? It is, yeah. So is it um, four cosine two yep. x? Oh, you put the three after the cosine. Oh, okay. You can, or you can do it like I did before and put it in brackets. Um, okay, that's what I did, and then I just raised it to the third. But okay, and then you got to keep going here. And, do then you it, and then is it negative two? Do you bring the two in front there, or no, no? So the so the inside function is. Um, is just cosine, like you've already dealt with that power. So is it negative sine two? X squared, X yeah. times two. Oh. It, and see, so the thing is there's actually three, let me do this in a different color here so you can see this. It's actually three, there's one, two, and then three that you have to do. So isn't the last one just two? It's four X, because it's the rate of the inside function. So do you see how oh, this because is... our last one, the last one didn't have an exponent? Yeah, it was, I, I, I it just changed it slightly. Um, number two is, is this part here. And obviously number one is, is all of this. For the product rule, isn't it that you're adding them all though? This isn't a product rule though. There's just one function. There's one thing here. Oh, okay. Wait, can you scroll scroll up to the last sure, one? Sure, sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's power rule followed by chain rule. 
Oh, power. Okay. Gotcha. So it, that's why it really helps to rewrite it. And I mean, I, I don't know. It, it, it depends. I'm, I'm not sure how I would tell you to, to think about it. It depends on what you'd like. Um, initially, this is probably more helpful to, to write it this way. Uh, let's try another one here because I don't, I don't think that went as well as, as it could have. Let's see if you can get one here completely right. Y equals uh, sine to the eighth of four um, X plus X squared. So eight sine seven. Again, I would I would emphasize maybe maybe uh, this is preferred to to write it. This is just a rewrite step on the right here. Okay. Okay, so eight sine to the seventh. Okay. Oh. So you can you can put that here if you want. That's fine. Yeah, and then um, cosine. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Cosine of four x plus x squared times four plus x squared. No, two x. Yes. 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 Good. Now the thing uh, thing is is that you could get something else that's um, a chain rule problem. Do you think your instructor will give you stuff that's very similar to this? Um, I mean, we did a lot. Like they're in the presentations that I sent too. There's some. Okay. If you want to look at that, but like um, what what I'm trying to say is like we could do. Um, there, there's there's so many of these, but like another one is like e to the sine of x squared would be another one that's oh we haven't done the e's okay they right. mostly yeah they've mostly like that well let's move to number two and number two is interesting because it's it's actually something you see in uh second semester of calculus um the the without getting to a lot of this um to do to do what it asks for which is to find dy dx you have to take the derivative of this y this x and you, you put one over two when you're done parametric curve is what i wouldn't don't even i wouldn't even get it's just defined as, as as in terms of t but but you need to take the derivative of the y and then the derivative of the x so it's it's the derivative of y over the derivative of x. Okay. So in short, uh, you have to just take the derivative of three secant t So what is what is the derivative of three secant t? What is y prime? Oh my god, secant. Um yeah and this is one of those you gotta know really well. So um, so it's it's secant tangent. And you just leave the three. Yeah, the three goes with it. Okay. Okay, and then you gotta you gotta do x x equals two tangent t, and then you have to take x prime or the derivative of x. So derivative of tangent. Do you know that one? Mm, it's a, like sine. So it, it, it'd be great uh, to have a reference sheet up. Um, do you still have the one I sent you? Yes, I think so. It would be it would be good to print it out or have it around. Uh, if you don't like this one, just find one you like because the, the key is to just have something that, uh, and I'll send it by chat right now as well. 
it's just to have something that, you know, you're like, okay, I'm comfortable with that. That, that makes sense to me. I know sine and cosine, I just need to learn the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so tangent is secant squared. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to do Y prime over X prime. The dy dx tells you that. It says first take the derivative of y, so three secant t tangent t over two secant squared t. So you're taking that there, that there. Okay, this is not done though. There, this one requires you to simplify. Okay. So a, a secant, one of these secants cancels one of these secants. So it's three tangent t over two secant t. Tangent is sine over cosine. Secant is one over cosine. So there's like a three there and a two there. So if you multiply the top and bottom by cosine, Notice I don't write it with the argument. That's you probably should, but it's it's my thing here. The cosines cancel, and you get three sine over two. Okay, so from the tan wait, so tangent is sine over cosine, and then the secant, and those are just things that. <laughs> Like our, <laughs> yeah, they're like things you're supposed, to, you're supposed to know from previous class. Um, uh, let me get you the trig cheat sheet here to um, to see if uh, if that helps. I did that link. Sorry, that yeah, link yeah. I sent it might not have been helpful. Um, it worked. It worked. Okay, here is another one. Um, you've seen this before, but it's just it'll just be another another one to maybe print out. Okay, um, do you want Sorry, one like this? Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's make it uh, something that reduces here. Let me get back to the problem. Um, so far away from it, there it is. Sorry, I'm, I'm just struggling to get back to where, where it is. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So uh, let's say now try, uh, we'll just make it easier. We'll say y equals negative four cosecant t, x equals um, two cotangent t. And it was y over x? Yeah, it wants, it wants dy dx right. and it's, it's y prime over x prime. Right, okay. So Thank you. 
Okay, so I've gotten to the point where I have negative four, one over tangent. Well, well, co well cosecant, you know the uh, derivative of, right? Oh, well, yeah. So it was what, sort what, of. Okay, what did so you I get for that? Negative four, negative, uh, what is this, cosecant t and then cotangent t. Right, so negative cosecant t cotangent t. <laughs> And then over two minus, not two minus, um, yeah, two negative, uh, what is this, cosecant squared t? Yes. And then um, that simplifies to negative four cotangent t over two negative cosecant t. So yeah, so uh, y prime over x prime, yeah, you get you get um, four cosecant t cotangent t over negative two cosecant squared t. So one of those cancels with one of those, and you get four over negative two. So that's negative two cotangent t over cosecant t. Yeah. So then cotangent becomes one over tangent. You, you always want to go to uh, sine and cosine if you can. Well, yeah, I just started with. Oh, okay. Then, okay. All right. Then, Great. And then do this. Yeah, so then I was confused there. Well, why did you put cosine over? Isn't it sine over cosine? Cotangent is cosine over sine. Tangent is sine over cosine. So, oh, because it's one over sine yeah, over cosine. Yeah. Got it. So then that becomes cosine over sine. Um, so then the sine or Negative two. I don't know. So you 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 multiply the top and bottom because the bottoms are the same. You can either cancel them or you can show multiplication by sine and sine. So is it just negative two cosine? Yes. Oh, okay. You probably. I'm sure you'll probably look at those again. Uh, but that's where uh, I got stuck. Just that step. Okay. <laughs> Let's move to three because three is super critical that you um, you can do. Um, it's a uh, it's got multi parts here. All right, so they're giving you, um, and this one this is where it's different. This is uh, whenever you see x's and y's that that lead that means you're gonna do implicit derivatives. And and the only thing to remember, I guess, that's different. I'm sure you heard this in classes is x you treat the same, y you, you treat like x, like an x, so the same rules, but you, you add a, a dy dx each time. Okay. So um, let's, I'm just gonna rewrite this slightly because I, I do think the order matters to which you see this. Let's say it's x squared plus y squared minus xy equals 27. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. You just treat that like you always do. y squared, you treat like it's an x. So if this was x squared, you would say, oh, it's 2x. So that's 2y. But you have to implicitly take a derivative of y. And that's why there's a dy dx here. Okay. So whenever you have a y, whenever you're taking the derivative of y, you have to add in a dy dx. Now, I think this is helpful to do. Whenever you have a, a x times y, do it with parentheses because it's a product rule. So do you remember your product rule? Do you? Yeah. Do you okay. Think. Okay. So uh, there's sometimes people use words. I like the words. It's the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is one but then it's got a dy dx to go along with it. So it's th this is this is the derivative of y plus the derivative of x is is one, and then you keep y. I'm con so um, y. Oh, never mind, never mind. You just reordered it, right? From yeah, the yeah. Just just because it was it was such a it's it's a little bit awkward to do the product rule and then the derivative of a constant is it's uh, one no zero, zero. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so let me just do a little bit of rewriting here. 2x plus 2y dy dx minus Wait, so x. If it, sorry, if it, so if it was 27x, would it be 27? Yes. Okay, just making sure. All right, and then I almost messed this up. The, the negative distributes into both, minus y equals zero. Okay, so the, the, go, the goal here is to get, get terms with dy dx on one side. Okay, so like, see how these already have dy dx on that side? So we wanna move the y and the 2x over to the other side. Okay. So to do that, you're gonna, you're gonna add y to both sides and you're gonna subtract 2x from both sides. So it's a lot of writing. I recall you write fairly large like I do, so. Uh, you just give yourself plenty of room when you do these. Once you have the dy dx is on the same side, you factor out dy dx. Yet another reason why you took all those previous math classes, so you you can quickly do that. And then you divide. The divide is almost always the last step here. You divide both sides by two y minus x. 2y minus x. So your dy dx equals y minus 2x <clears throat> over 2y minus x. Okay. So you just let me see, make sure I make. Um, can you scroll up a bit? Sure. Okay. So from so from the two two x plus two y uh, dy over dx, that's that first like step right there. You just did the product rule there, right? This yeah, this is product rule. This is okay. the result of the result of the product rule. And that's from the just the x y. Yes. And, and I put the negative out in front just to like not try to deal with too much at one time. Okay. Okay. So then everything from the after, the, so the calculus step is just this line here. After that is just manipulating the equation. It's algebra. Now, should we, should we continue with parts B and C or should we do a few more implicit derivatives? Um, I think a few more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay. So we'll come back to that. So let's say it's uh, x, x squared uh, plus 2xy plus y squared equals uh, 5. So help me out here. What's the derivative of x squared? 2x. 2x. Okay. Now, this right here, kind of like the last one, it, it's going to be a product rule. So should we move it to the end? Well, I, we're going to do it right here, but I, I want you to see that I'm, I'm putting the plus 2 right out in front, and I'm applying the product rule to this. Okay. So it's, it's like this uv, right? <laughs> uv prime plus vu prime, or however, however you're, you're doing it. So uh, I like to keep the first. But you tell me if you don't do it that way, because we can do it however you, you normally do it. No, so it's so it'd be x and then y prime. Right. Now, y prime, instructors want you to write dy dx. You can also write kind of this y prime, as long as you make that really emphatic so it's clear, you know, what it is. Because it's if you just put a, if you don't like sort of slightly angle it, it, it might look like a power of one. <laughs> And then, okay. you, and then you confuse yourself. So it's up to you. Plus, okay. And then you derivative, y. derivative of x. Wait, isn't it your isn't it your v though, which is y? Your v is y. Okay, I see what you yeah. And then what's the derivative of, of the first one? Um one. One. So you know you can write it if you want. Plus, now we're up to this y, y. squared. 2y, but there's something else. Nope, there's a little bit more here. Oh, 2y and then y prime. Right, right, dy dx. Okay. 
equals zero. Good. Okay, so see if you can solve this for dy dx on your own, please. I think my instructor writes what? So I'm just gonna stick with that. I generally prefer this. I, you know, it's, it's less writing also. So we'll, uh, we'll switch to that. Okay, so now we. I would distribute this two. The two, okay. So two x plus two x y prime plus two y. And then I guess there's nothing to combine really. So it rare and there rarely is. Like it's all it's always a move factor and divide. <laughs> okay, so uh, now should you take that two out or what? I would move you. I, I said, I'll write this down here. Move, factor, and divide. So you move any any non y prime terms to the other side. Okay. So two x y prime plus two y y prime equals negative two x minus two y. And then factor out the two y prime. You factor out the y prime. Why not the two? Uh, because you, you're trying to isolate y prime, because then you'll have to divide by two at the end. Oh, okay. So it's it's cool. not it's not the greatest common factor like you you've done for so long. It's just it's just uh, it's just the y prime. Okay. And then you can move it the other. So then it's two negative two x minus two y over two x plus two y. Yeah, and here you would probably simplify by canceling the twos. Right, so then it's negative one minus one. Oh, yes. You can actually do a bit more here. So if you factor negative one out at the top, you get x plus y up top, x plus y on the bottom, and those cancel. So your, your y prime is literally just negative one here. Oh, okay. Which can happen. It's like it's like when you were you were uh, like multiplying, dividing um, things that you would factor, and all of a sudden it would just cancel out. All right. All right. So let's go back to this line right <laughs> here. This is this is your original problem, and let's let's. Uh, that's let's assume that's part a part b says to find the slope at a particular point and they have to give you both an x and a y so they're giving you they're telling you x is minus three and y is three so you take those values and you plug them back back in okay so it's three that's for y minus two times negative three over two times three minus a minus three. So so just the, um, what, what your y prime was. Yes. Right, you plugged it back, okay. Yep. And then you just, just simplify here. Um, so it's, it's like three plus six over six plus three, so that's nine over nine, which is, which is one. Okay. Okay, and let's do, um, let's do part C, which has several things. Uh, your instructor's uh, yeah, this is more difficult than I thought. So find the x-coordinate of each point on the curve where the tangent line is horizontal. So uh, it, it's horizontal when y prime equals zero. So if you go back to what, what you found, let me just copy this in again. So if, if you just look at this thing on the right, this is a, it, it equals zero when the, when the top equals zero. 
because zero because zero over any number is, is zero. So the, the hint really is to set the uh, the numerator equal to zero. Okay. So that's y minus two x equals zero. And then the hint here is helpful. So we did that, and now it says write an equation for y in terms of x. So you just solve for y, y equals two x. And then your instructor is even more helpful. This is to substitute it back into the original equation. So Wait, your original, where, where did we find the slope of the horizontal? The, the, it says find the x from each point on the curve where the tangent line is horizontal. It's horizontal when y prime is zero. And, and that's, it says here, what is the slope of a horizontal line? Well, because tangent is the, is the derivative, I see. Yes, yes. Okay. So you, you set the, and, and you, they'll always be like this. You always set the numerator equal to zero. Um, so you, you can just remember that, that it doesn't change problem to problem. So now you have to substitute this back into the original, like, like the original original, the equation that you started out with. So let me go grab that. So you you um, you put y equals two x. So wherever you see a y, boom, boom, you put you put that two x in. So it's x squared minus x times two x plus two x squared equals twenty seven. And then you. So now there's only one variable. So you 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 simplify and solve. Okay, so x squared minus 2x squared plus 2x or x squared equals 27. Yeah, so this ends up equaling. Um, oh, and then you can factor or whatever. Yeah, three, this ends up being 3x squared. And this is an important one to remember. There's two solutions, x equals plus or minus 3. Wait, how did you get 3x squared? Yeah, 1x squared minus 2 and plus 4. Oh, gotcha. It's usually a nice number. Like at this point in your class, they're not emphasizing like your ability to do algebra. So if you don't get a nice number, you should question yourself. Do I do it right? Something weird happened. Okay. And is it, is there like only one? Is it both or is there? It's, it's both. It's both. So you have to say, well, if, if, if X equals three, Y equals, and if X equals minus three, Y equals so you plug it back into the original? Well, you could, but this, this one over here is even better. Y equals 2x. Oh, right. So, so y equals 2 times 3, 6, and then negative 6. Right. So there's your ordered pairs. 3 comma 6 minus 3 comma minus 6. Was it always going to be both of them? Yeah, uh, it could. They could be 4. could be. There's, there's lots of possibilities. But it would, like, if you get negative... If, if if you get a number that's plus minus three, it would be like both of them always. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, okay. But but it could be it could be that y it could be like y squared equals two x, and then you have you have two possibilities for each x. Okay. And 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 all this comes down to is is y equals two x is a line, like it, depending on the curve. Let me go down here and do this. If if that's your two x, well, it could be that it hits it you know one two three times. It, it could be that it hits it, you know, two times. It could be that, um, I'm trying to think of how it would hit it four times, but you know, that's possible. Okay. Like there's lots of possibilities. Okay, let me find one like this so we can do another. Um, I can't just make these up, so let me just look real quick. Um, for a problem that's that's going to give us something reasonable, and let's see if I got one here. All right, um, come on. This is too difficult for what you're trying to do. Yeah, the, the one you did is like the classic problem they give. <laughs> so, I hope so. he just changes the numbers and gives us this format. That would be nice. Right. Uh, yeah, here's, here's, here's one we'll do. Um, so it's x 
plus xy minus y cubed equals seven. So, so part A here is to find dy dx or, or y prime, and that's the implicit, implicit derivative. Okay, so that's when we do the... So that's you just do like x plus we got you got you got to take the derivative of x right one oh yeah okay one plus one times y times y prime wait isn't it isn't well you can put it in but i mean one times anything is is i mean if you want uh, like you just want to you don't want to mistake it for 11 or something um like the net result of x times y is the derivative is y prime but isn't isn't y isn't it y oh but that's y squared okay never mind so one plus y prime plus three three y Did prime you, you should get two terms for x times y Right, the derivative of x is one, derivative of y is y prime, and then it's y times one. Like that's that's all of that. Isn't because wait, why? <laughs> I mean, this this is like probably we just want to go with the definition, like just not get over but it's 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 uv right uv so it's uv prime let me do that up here uv prime plus vu prime so u is x sorry x i, I missed that's what it is and then derivative of y is y prime plus v which is your y times derivative x which is one. Oh, i forgot that we had to do a product rule there yes okay, so one plus, okay, let me just start this. One plus one times y prime plus y times one, y, and then minus three y prime. Y squared, it's power rule. But does it, for y's, don't you have to, you treat it like it's an X. You say it's just like X. Okay. So whatever the rule is for X, you treat it like X. And then you always append a, a Y prime. <laughs> equals, oh, I see that's what you do. And then equals zero. Yes. Okay, so, so then you combine. So, so here, the, again, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's move, factor, divide. And, and if before move, you can maybe say, um, I don't know, simplify or rewrite, but, um, you know, it's, it's one plus X, Y prime plus Y minus three Y squared Y prime equals zero. Isn't, oh, um, okay. That's plus Y. Okay, so then you move the, so the then non, y yeah. prime plus or minus three watts y squared y prime equals y oh minus one in either order it could be minus y minus one okay okay and then you, then your factor so right. y prime so, comes out x minus three y squared one minus y so then y prime equals negative one minus y over x minus three y squared yes and then that's it yeah let's come back to this for b and c i'll just make a little note here but i, I really i feel stronger that we should do some more implicit derivatives so okay. x cubed plus y cubed equals three y so let's just start with this. Um, but again, like X's, you just treat the way you've always treated them. It's the Y's 
where you you visualize an X and you do it as if it's X, but then you always append a dy dx or a y prime. Okay, so it's just um. What's the derivative of this? Yeah. So is it three x squared and then three y y prime? Y squared. Y squared y prime. Yes. Equals three y y prime. Three y just y prime. What's the derivative of three x? Three. Three. So that's that's why that's where the three comes from. And then y, you, you've already dealt with that. So the derivative of y, whenever you have a y, you always add a, add a y prime. Okay. Okay. So from here, this one's a little bit different. Um, you can move this to the other side. Like you can move the y primes. Like it doesn't really okay. matter. So it's three y prime minus three y squared y prime. You can factor out a y prime on the right. Then three minus three y squared. Right. Then you're going to divide both sides by three minus three y squared. So uh, you get you get three x squared over three minus three y squared equals y prime. Mm -hmm. And so the, the threes all cancel. I mean, that's a minor thing. I'll try to choose some that, that don't have that, but. Okay. Right, so let's try another one here. We got the time for at least one more, maybe more before we stop for this hour. So let's say it's x, y equals two x squared plus two y. So. This is where you use protocol. Okay, so yes, trying to hit on all the ones that are X. frustrating you. X, so X, Y prime plus y times x prime yeah there's no so x prime is one in these that and that's what's confusing is like wait but isn't y primes it act the root of x is just one so then just plus y yes okay and then equals and, and that's why i said you might even want to just want to remember that this is x y prime plus y like that might be your shortcut here until you fully understand this okay which may not happen until like the test but you will you will get it i mean you're more than capable of getting this it's just it's, it's a lot to throw at you yeah four x plus okay so then two y y prime so the the two is the derivative of two no, y. no no just two y two y prime yes yes <laughs> oh my gosh okay okay so now you have a choice you can either move this y prime over here or this y prime over here, it doesn't matter. You have to choose though which way you're gonna go with it. Okay, so can I move the, the like can I do like four x minus plus y equals negative? Well, if you're if you're moving this over, which are you moving the four x over? Yeah, and then I was gonna move the x y prime over. Okay, so it's y minus four x, subtracting it, right? equals two y prime minus x y prime. Mm -hmm. And then you take out the um, y, y prime. prime. So then that's y prime times two minus x. And then you divide that by y minus four. Yeah. No, you move, you divide the y minus four x by two minus x. Yes, yes, Sorry, I didn't show that, yeah. And then, yeah, that's final, right? Yes. All right. So let me let me leave could you with you this. Could you cancel out like the X? No, no. Gen generally, you can't. Okay. So I'll leave you with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna just really quickly run through it, so you can see it. But you're you should try it on your own if you can.
So just uh, maybe maybe try that here if you want in in the uh, in the break. I know we got like an hour in between. Yeah. Um, so okay. um, if you want to start sooner, just send me a message. I actually don't have anyone in between you. So just, but, but I would recommend a, a break of some sort, at least, you know. Yeah, I think I'll maybe go eat dinner and then come back. Yeah, only it's only if you want to. We're okay. totally good either way. Thank you so much. I'll send you the uh, notes and the screen recording out shortly. I'll talk to Great. you later. Bye Great. now. Bye.